Hey Cavs, uh, welcome. I am going to run us through uh, another section of Jasper Active Lesson Two, PowerPoint Lesson Two, Exercise Two, Changing Slide Size Options. So you can see I'm already signed into Jasper Active. If you're not signed in, please make sure you take the time to do that. Uh, remember, of course, if you have a Mac or a Chromebook or a district laptop, you will need to use the VMware Horizon client, uh, which creates a virtual desktop for you in a Windows machine. So everybody else that's already signed into Jasper Active, that's where you need to be. Here we go. Changing slide size options. Oh, excuse me. Lesson two, understanding slide layouts. There we have it. Click learn, have it open up. It may need to download some files for you. Nope, that one popped right up where it needs to be. Let me maximize the screen there for you so you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna start with My Tours by Tolano PowerPoint. And we're going to select slide two, which is the agenda slide. Now you can see they've made a bad choice in the color of the text. The font is blue and blue on black is difficult for eyeballs to see. Notice how white pops right off of the black and is easy with the high contrast to read. So what we're going to do now is change the layout of the slide. So we have one box on the left and one box on the right and we can increase the size. So there's two different ways to do that. I can on the home tab in the slides group, click the slide layout button and change it to a two content. Another way to do that would be to right click in some area where there's nothing on the slide, like over here in the corner. If I right click, I can change layout and I can change to content there. So with two content selected, let's format the placeholder. Select the placeholder with bicycle tours at the top. There's a way you have to be careful in selecting the placeholder. If I select right here by clicking on the text, you can see my cursor flashing right there underneath my green mouse. The flashing cursor means I don't have the whole placeholder selected. I've just clicked within the word tours right there. So to get the whole placeholder selected, I go to the edge border and click and that has no flashing cursor now anywhere in the box i've got the whole placeholder selected and what we're going to do is recognize the grab handles on all the corners it's fully selected we're going to change on the home tab in the drawing group excuse me home tab drawing group right here we are going to find quick styles and in quick styles when we click the more button we are going to affect the change the one that's called moderate effect black dark one so i hover over the black ones and i see light subtle and this one here I think is the one moderate effect black dark one. Notice that's got a classy fade from gray to black at the bottom of the box. Next, now we're going to apply a line color to the placeholder. So with slide three selected, bicycle tours, we are going to click the drawing, oh, excuse me, there we go, bicycle tours. Now you select the border that contains San Francisco. So get the whole placeholder selected and you are con going to go to shape outline. So home tab, drawing tools, shape outline, and you're going to select black background one, lighter, oh, I'm sorry, darker, 25%. So I'm hovering over, let's see, lighter. Hmm, 
is that I'm sorry you guys I got it it does say lighter 25% okay let's try that again shape outline lighter 25% so it looks to me the third one down now you can't tell that anything was changed right there until you click off of the box and now if I zoom in you can see that that line for the text box is now a lighter color. So I'll zoom back out to a reasonable size and go to step number four. This says apply a background pattern to the placeholder. So on the home tab in the drawing group, click the format shape. So back here, home tab, drawing group, format shape dialog box launcher and that is a hard to grab little button in the bottom right corner over here so i'll show you another place where you can see it easy in the paragraph group in the font group and over in the clipboard board group you can see the dialog box launcher in the slides group there isn't one i can't see one in the drawing group until i expand it because my menus are collapsed on this monitor so as soon as you bring that up, we get a format shape pane, and we are going to expand fill, and I'm going to expand line, and notice I can scroll through, and there's a whole bunch of things we can do now. I'm going to select pattern fill, and they want us to select diagonal stripes dark downward, so hover over. There's diagonal stripes wide downward, dark upward, dark downward. So three over, three down. All right. Next. We need to go to the format shape task pane and click the arrow to the right of background so i need to go down here just a little bit so to the right of background click the arrow and you're going to do black background one lighter 25 percent i remember where that one is from the last one it was in the black third one down next step six now it says Select slide three, and you're going to select the bicycle tours title placeholder. Oh no, I think based on their picture, I did the last step wrong. Let's go back and fix that. So select slide three, bicycle tours. and click the text placeholder next to San Francisco. Let's try that again. Pattern fill and diagonal stripes dark downward, then scroll down, background, and apply that theme. There, that looks better. Now when we go back up here, Apply background, so we need to click where it says Bicycle Tours to select that placeholder. And we go to Format Shape Task Pane. Click the arrow to the right of, sorry. Uh, we're going to go up to Drawing Tools, Quick Styles, and they want us to do Moderate Effect Black Dark One. So that should look like that. I need to go back to my messed up slide on this one and say no fill to put that back to normal. Now I can close that. Let's review our work. Make sure that slide two, the agenda slide, has the changed layout. And slide three has 
the San Francisco box with the gray outline and the diagonal dark downward with the moderate effect black dark one background and quick styles in bicycle tours moderate effect black dark one. If you've got all that done, you should be able to submit, submit your results, and Jasper Active should give you 100%. Thank you very much. Let's call this done.